Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 33 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. This episode we're going to be talking about landmines. Uh, this may seem pretty simple, and they are pretty straightforward, but there are a, uh, some extras that you can uh, use these landmines. And you're gonna, have, you need to know how to use these, otherwise you might uh, waste landmines and uh, not realize why they're not uh, doing much. So, what we've got uh, to craft the landmines is you need an ignition unit, two steel ingots, a gold ingot, and two redstone dust, and a fresh plate. And all the ignition unit is is more steel and gold and redstone. So it's basically just steel, gold, and redstone landmine. All right? Now it's not that cheap, but these landmines are not slouches. Make sure it's nice and bright. So um, we're gonna come over here. It's like we're testing nukes uh, on a little island chain. <laughs> all right. So here's some pigs. Now, the way the landmine works is if I place it down, it doesn't do anything. All right, it's just a hunk of metal. Um, you have to power it with a wine spring, and any amount of power will do. Uh, it's just that the lower the power gets, the greater the chance that this thing will just go off. Hello. Yeah. So without get off of there. What is up with this chicken? Um, when you put the wine spring in, it'll prime it, and then it'll go off if something steps on it, like this freaking chicken. All right. So if I step on it now, landmine goes off, and this pig has now been infected with uh, nausea and uh, blindness. I wasn't because I have a white crystal pendant, just to keep the recording nice. But uh, that's what it does by default. It inflicts nausea and it, and blindness, uh, but it doesn't deal any damage. This pig has full health, uh, which is not the best thing for a landmine. Um, oh, and of course I should mention that yes, you can bury these up to one block underground. So very hideable. Now you'll notice I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory down here. This is because you can add, well, add-ons to the landmines. A couple of things you can do. Uh, adding gunpowder to the left slots will increase the blast power. You can put up to four in there. You know, each slot will only accept one, and uh, you can only put gunpowder over here. Well, I mean, you can put other stuff over there, but it won't do anything. See, because uh, this is for gunpowder. Now. Uh, these other objects you can add to the right slots to add various effects. So if I add TNT, you'll see what happens. Go on, pig. Step on it. No, don't fall in the hole. All right, I'll step on it. Ha ha ha! Island be gone. So if you add TNT into the landmine, uh, it's when it detonates it throws TNT in all directions it's like a cluster bomb and uh, it can deal quite a bit of uh, damage so let's come over here and we'll uh, we'll do this again I need to get another spring sometimes the spring gets destroyed sometimes it doesn't and you could pick them back up so let's add some gunpowder and uh, we'll add four of them well let's just start with one See, so by default, it doesn't deal damage to terrain at all. Um, with one piece of gunpowder, it you know it deals you know some damage to the terrain, like a like a weak TNT blast. Um, and if we go ahead and then add, oh, the spring got destroyed again. Spring, and now if we add four pieces of gunpowder, that's quite a bit bigger. Uh, and again, we've just obliterated this island with a single landmine. So these landmines are no slouch. They're, they're no slouch. They're uh, pretty pretty strong. All right. So uh, more springs. I should just grab a bunch of these. All right. So there's a couple of springs. Let's put a spring in there. Now uh, we've got blaze powder, which we can put over here. But um, interestingly, oh there we go. I finally got it to work. So you see, it started some fires. Now, the last time I was testing these, uh, the uh, landmine, the blaze powder didn't seem to do anything, and I think I know why. So, now. So, if I place this landmine, and I place blaze powder, and a wine spring, and just blaze powder, nothing. The blaze powder didn't do anything extra. It's what, what, when I put a gunpowder in here, and blaze powder, wine spring, 
now it starts fires. All right. So if you want to add blaze powder to your landmines to light things on fire, you need to add at least one piece of gunpowder. Otherwise, the blaze powder doesn't doesn't do anything. All right. That's good to know. Now we can add spider eyes. And before, when I did this, the spider eyes didn't do anything either. So let's uh, let's put a gunpowder in there, and let's spawn some stuff. Uh, we'll spawn some pigs, maybe. Come on, step on it. Oh. Yeah, let on fire. Didn't expect that because I didn't put blaze powder in it. Maybe I still don't know how these things work. <laughs> I thought I put spider eyes in there. Spring. As you can see, there's all sorts of combinations. Hmm. It looks like it's just starting fires now. Uh, so I, I don't really know what the blaze powder does. If if the gunpowder one is just starting fires by itself, it didn't do that last time though. It didn't start fires till we put blaze powder in it. Maybe the spider eyes cause fire as well. I don't know. I thought they would have something to do with poison since they're spider eyes. And we got glass. Put glass blocks in there. And I honestly do not know what the glass blocks do. I assume that they act like shrapnel, but... Okay, let's test that. Let me spawn a bunch of pigs. Actually, I gotta make sure that... Let's put a bunch of pigs around here. Put a landmine. Fill it with glass. Take a wine spring. Nope. Put it in the wrong spot. Wine spring. I don't know what the glass does. Um, they don't seem to be inflicted with anything else. That pig did die. So maybe it just adds damage? I'm not sure, actually, what that does. But you can see that you can add, uh, you know, extra stuff to your landmines in order to cause some pretty big effects. So uh, let's come over here to this space, and we'll uh, bury one in the ground here, and we'll put a wine spring in. Why did it blow up? Was I technically standing over it? I think so. Let's fill it with gunpowder. Let's put a blaze powder in here, and we'll pack the rest with TNT. And we'll see how powerful this blast is. Yeah, a uh, pretty powerful blast. So you can deal a lot of damage with these uh, with the TNT here. So from uh, ooh, fluorite from incendiaries to uh, cluster bombs, landmines are pretty cool. And that's pretty much uh, it as far as landmines go. Um, again, I'm not really quite sure what the spider eyes are supposed to do. Uh, I assumed that they were going to inflict poison, but uh, I couldn't tell what they were doing. None of the sp things had poison on it. Um, but yeah, so you can see the blaze powder will light think will uh, start fires. The gunpowder will cause a bigger blast. Um, the TNT will throw out uh, TNT like a cluster bomb. And so uh, yeah, the landmines are pretty cool. That's pretty much it for landmines as well. Um, they're not that you know complex. So, what are we talking about next? Next episode, we're going to talk about the block cannon. This is what this is, the block cannon. And then uh, in a couple more episodes, we'll be done with that, and we'll be done with that. And then we've only got about five more episodes to go So about f uh, in the uh, weapons department. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for videos coming up. Obviously, another one of these landing tomorrow. And... Um, some uh, pretty cool projects are are hopefully coming soon. Um, I want to start up some some cool things. So yeah, look forward to that stuff. Anyway, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.